Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bauer, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about endometriosis and the causes and some of the most common symptoms associated with this condition. So endometriosis is basically the implantation of endometrial tissue, which is supposed to be in the uterus, to places outside of the uterus. So this endometrial tissue, which is the inner mucous membrane of the uterus, these tissues can implant in places like the fallopian tubes, the ovaries, and other organs in the pelvic region. So this is something that, yes, can cause a lot of scar tissue, as well as it's interesting that endometrial tissue can actually even implant itself in the nose. And just like a normal menstrual cycle, when there's the shedding of that endometrium, what can happen is that there could be bleeding in the nose even at the time of the period because that endometrial tissue is there. So something to be aware of, I did have a patient who had this when I was in my training as a naturopathic doctor, and not everybody would ever think that this would be correlated to, of course, something that's happening with the female endocrine system and the female tissues. So if this endometrial flow is trapped when it's in other organs in, in terms of the endometrial tissue, this can cause a lot of inflammation and pain. And this is exactly what women can suffer through if they do have endometriosis. It can also cause adhesions and scar tissue that may form and may even actually stick some organs to one another in the pelvic region. So this can also cause infertility as if there is a scar tissue that is closing up the fallopian tubes, then we no longer have that proper passage of the egg to its desired location to be able to implant properly in the uterus. So let's now talk about some of the most common symptoms of endometriosis. So one of them, of course, would be painful periods. Now, depending on where that endometrial tissue is sitting, it can cause the pain, which is called dysmenorrhea, and also irregular bleeding. So irregular periods, there could be some spotting in between periods as well, which is called metrorrhagia, and there could be excessive bleeding as well. This could also cause low back pain and a lot of abdominal and pelvic region pain for women who are suffering with endometriosis. Also constipation is very common and pain during intercourse could be another common symptom of endo. Again, depending on where that scar tissue is sitting, this can cause increased pain during bowel movements and urination as well. As I mentioned before, again, the relationship with infertility, this can even cause joint pain and nerve pain as associated to that endometrial tissue and the scar tissue. Also, chronic fatigue is a common symptom of endometriosis and a lot of GI symptoms, so a lot of gas and bloating, constipation, diarrhea, and uncomfortable feelings in terms of GI tract health. So there you have it. Those are the symptoms and some of the causes of endometriosis. I hope that, you know, if you are suffering with endometriosis that you do find some relief. I have tips in another video as to what you can do naturally to balance your hormones. So make sure you do check that out. And if you do have endometriosis or other symptoms, I would love to hear from you. So please do put that in the comment section below. Also share this video with someone that you know will benefit from this information and maybe she is suffering and you can help her out by sharing some of this information. Also, please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of that positive feedback that you share with me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. And I hope that you'll subscribe and also click that bell by turning on those notifications. You'll always get my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.